Hey, my name is Sarah Wolf. I'm a microbiologist working on my doctoral degree at Oregon State University. I study marine microbiology, so I'm gonna show you a bit about what it's like to be a graduate student studying marine microbiology, marine science. So welcome to the lab. My path to marine microbiology has been a little non-traditional. So I graduated from high school in Sacramento, California, and moved to Bozeman, Montana, where I attended Montana State and studied political science. Then I got the opportunity to go to St. Thomas on the National Student Exchange, where I discovered microbiology research and fell in love with it. Then I moved to Los Angeles and graduated from California State University, Los Angeles with a bachelor's in microbiology and a minor in political science. That led me here to Corvallis, Oregon, where now I study marine microbiology and my political science and microbiology interests have collided. When you think of marine scientists, you probably think they study these cute and cuddly creatures. And while some of them do, I study microbes way too small to see with the naked eye. So the marine microbes I study usually look like this or like this under a microscope. There are 1 million bacterial cells in each drop of seawater and the ocean covers 70% of our planet's surface. So these marine microbes are vital to life on Earth. They produce 50% of the oxygen on Earth and transform ecosystems via biogeochemical cycling. For my project, I usually go to the coast and collect a ton of seawater to bring back to the lab and do experiments. While we're at sea, we also collect measurements, so then we have data on what the chemical and microbial composition of the water looks like. Then we put that into databases, so we have years of data that helps us track changes and patterns in the ocean. Back in the lab, we can create simulations of marine ecosystems using the seawater we collected from the ocean. This allows us to do experiments testing specific hypotheses about how the microbes in the water behave when exposed to different treatments. My research project focuses on how bacteria in low oxygen zones are functioning and what tools we can develop to help mitigate some of these effects of climate change. Our research can help increase the resilience of coastal fishermen, crabbers, and business people. Once I test my hypotheses through the experiments, I do a lot of writing. Scientists write articles that get published in journals for other scientists and the public to access. This is how science advances rapidly, so everyone's doing different research and using each other's findings to test even more hypotheses. Then the scientists get to present their research at conferences and seminars. As a graduate employee of the university, sometimes I teach laboratory courses in microbiology too. We do fun experiments where we swab the inside of our mouths and surfaces at home and then grow that bacteria on petri plates. One of my favorite things about my marine microbiology training is figuring out innovative ways to get young students excited about research science. So our lab created a board game that simulates how biomass moves through the ocean. And I also get to provide curriculum to K-12 teachers, or I can give guest lectures to try to introduce students to the cool technology we use as scientists to learn more about our planet. Working in a marine microbiology lab requires flexibility, collaboration, creativity to solve problems, and lots of curiosity. I love that each day is different. Sometimes I'm working in lab, sometimes I'm in the field teaching or listening to other scientists give talks. So I started out as a poli sci major. I mentioned that earlier and my advisors at Montana State looked at me a little bit funny because I was a poli sci major. I was keen on doing that, but I also really wanted to keep taking science courses. So I was taking gen bio, gen chemistry, just for fun. And that has served me really well because now I get to advocate for science-based policy. And I also serve on the environmental and natural resource committee for my county here in Oregon. Um, my path sort of just goes to show that if you work really hard for something and if you're very interested and curious about something and you keep at it, uh, you really can create a career out of your interests, um, and as cheesy as it sounds, you can you can do whatever you set your mind to.